what's the story now? We're gonna. Are you gonna bring all these toys to Comic Con, or are you gonna leave them here? That might be fun. I think that's what I was gonna bring. You just asked me if I'm gonna bring all my toys to Comic Con. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who gave you that information? Me. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm we not tired. I'm so fucking Could great. not be on different energy levels. Right I know. Now. I'm I'm so optimistic. I'm so excited. Uh I'm downtrodden and beaten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. My God. Well, I'm gonna tell you about this dream. Okay. It's not a dream. I don't know what it was. It was All a right. nightmare. A chilling tale. A chilling tale to the core. Chill you to the bone. Do you wanna do a like an intro for it? This is the intro. I don't know. Greg scary stories. This is the intro. <laughs> I'm introing it. Yeah. I'm introing it. Okay. With a chilling. Sounds good. With a with a hold on to your bones. They're gonna escape. Have you ever had one of these? So a nightmare. I didn't even finish. I didn't even get a sentence out. Don't raise your hand. Call me, Anthony. Yes, Greg. Um. <laughs> first of all, you asked me if I ever had any of these, and then I went to respond, and then. You scolded me for my response. Yeah, because there was a comma there. Have you ever had any of these comma, a dream where, and I explain. I didn't ask you yet these. You could have said birds. Yes, Anthony. Greg. <laughs> you said a chilling tale, and then you said, have you ever had one of these? From where I'm from, which I believe is from where you're from. Because we the grew same. up in the same place. That is a question. I wasn't done, is okay. what I'm saying. Well, then phrase it differently. I want everyone to replay that. And uh, great, and then when then, and then make your own decision on whether or not it sounded like I was finished with the sentence yet. Tweeted us hashtag sexy weekend. Hashtag sexy weekend. Was he was Greg finished with the sentence? Hashtag sexy weekend. Um. Okay, so here's what happened. Great. First of all, just a backstory. A little backstory. I yeah. had to wake up this morning at eight o'clock to move the car. Mm. A fucking nightmare. A nightmare on its own. A nightmare. Yeah. So I get in the car and then there's no spots anywhere. So mm -hmm. I had to drive around from eight in the morning Ugh. to ten thirty. That's so upsetting. Oh, God. You yeah. have no idea. I almost hit a girl because I was so tired, and I'm at a stop sign, and I just yeah. started going, and she, yeah. and she hit the front of the car, and she went, what are you doing? I went, I'm sleeping. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Stop waking me up. <laughs> oh, so, so I'm tired to the bones. And then I went to Andrew and Frank's to get a breakfast sandwich, and this I did. This is after you parked the car, or... Well, what I did was a car eventually moved. Yeah, and I parked it in front of there. Okay, and I put quarters in because right. I because I had the yeah. the meter thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get until it. it was ready. So now this is at what hour? We're talking. Uh, we're talking. Uh, I don't know. Because you 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 woke up at eight o'clock. You got to move the car by eight thirty, right? Move the car at eight thirty. Right. So and now you're to, driving around for. So it's about nine a.m. So you drive around for a half hour. No, about an hour. About an hour. So okay. about 9.30 a.m. So 9.30 a.m., you finally find a spot. I get a spot that I could pay the toll for. Right. So this is a paid spot, which means um, that these spots are timed. Yeah. So they're, yeah. Well, people don't know. Who people listening. understand meters. <laughs> oh, God, Greg. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. Am I coming off harsh? <laughs> yes. I don't mean to be. Maybe I'm Hurl. Hungry, upset, random, and laughing. Is it Hurl? No, I don't halt. know. I, I like that a lot. Hungry, absent, yeah. l litigations, and tummy, t yep. tummy, t tummy troubles. Tummy troubles. <laughs> yeah, you got it. TT <laughs> yep. Tummy troubles. So, okay. So these, these spots, and they're two hours you long. You are story. taking the wind out of this story. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. <laughs> story. Um, yeah. Cool. So you're in this spot. You're in Andrew Franks. What do you get? I got a, a fucking sausage, egg, and cheese. Great. On a hero. Mm. Huge. So big. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so I eat it next to this cop. Yeah. He's looking me up and down. Oh, yeah. I think he heard about the hit and run I was just involved in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so. So. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Let me drink some of this coffee. <laughs> so I come, <laughs> I come back to bed. This is why we need Brendan. Because I can't just let you do the podcast. Yeah, and I'm trying to hold on to things. <laughs> I really am. You, well, you came in. You were like, "I'm coming in. I'm coming in hot with this chilling tail. Hot, tired, <laughs> hot and tired." Okay, fine. So you're 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 done with your sandwich. Next oh, yeah, to yeah. the Scott. So yeah, nothing happens there. This part of the story is meaningless. Great. Meaningless. So we get right. I go. I go. Lay, I go up in bed and I go. All right. 
I realized that we didn't do the podcast yet. And I'm angry at you because I'm like, this guy, we had to do the fucking podcast. I'm fucking furious. Hasn't gotten back to me. I go to text you. I get all the texts from last night. <laughs> yeah, I sent like five texts. I was so fucking mad. And then I'm like, I'm mad and now I have nowhere to place that anger. Right, 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 right. I've been there. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? You know? Yeah. So then I'm like, so then I'm texting you and I'm guessing you're sleeping. I was. So I go, all right, let me just take five minutes. Yeah. A five minute nap. Yeah. So I go to sleep. Yeah. And this is where the chillingness comes in. <laughs> uh, I'm dreaming about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mm. I'm dreaming about... A, Which Buffy? Um, the TV show okay. playset. I was dreaming about a toy. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. They made Deep a, cut. Whoa. Didn't yeah. expect that. They made a Buffy the Vampire playset of the library that it is my holy gra- grail. Of really? A, yeah. Wow. Because it's like $700. Huh. It was like probably like 50 bucks when it came out or whatever. Wow. But it's so rare and so hard to find. It's like it's ranges from four to $700. And I was in my mind sleeping going, oh, if I, uh, I should check eBay, it's probably awake. Wake up. And then I go to wake up and I kept waking up in my dream. Right. But I wasn't awake. Right. So then I kept thinking that I kept removing my head from my pillow. And I was like, okay, this will wake you up. Grab your phone mm-hmm. and shake your phone around. Right. And I'm shaking my phone around. And then I look around, and I'm still sleeping. Yeah. And then I said, wake up again. Yeah. And I'm like, you are sleeping. You must wake up. And I'm yeah. saying this to myself. Yeah. And at one point, I remove my head from my pillow, and there's medical tape all over my pillow taping me to the pillow. Oh, man. And this then I go, is what is going on? And yeah. I go, you are not awake. Yeah. You need to wake up. Yeah. And I kept going, but it wouldn't let me break through. It was right. like a Freddy Krueger thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where there was a ceiling. Right. And I, I couldn't get through the ceiling to right. wake up. And I go, right. I'm paralyzed. Yeah. I'm, uh, this is what it must be like when you're in a coma. Yeah. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then, uh, and then I woke up and then, uh, you were there. You knocked on the door and, uh, I, I was like, uh, <laughs> I need to sleep another five minutes, but I was like, but I'm afraid to go back to sleep. Right, 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 right. And so now I'm afraid to sleep. Oh. So about half hour, I was awake. Right. Oh, man. That extra half hour. Oh, I... man, you could have come out. You could have partied. Where did you party? James and I. I heard you guys talking so loud. <laughs> Well, I wasn't trying to commit. I was trying to like just like get yeah. ten more minutes. I know that feeling. It's the worst. You've had one of these? Yeah, I have those, and those usually happen in that situation where I have to wake up for something. Usually, it is moving the car. I'll be honest. And yeah. And I go back to sleep, and I don't know what it is. I'm not a sleep expert. I yeah. just know that that sleep, it's like a lucid sleep well, where yeah, I can and, and and like the dreams are so vivid, they're so real. But I can also kind of control them. I can't. I can't a hundred percent. But I can kind of steer them in a direction. Well, this was a different. I wasn't dream. I mean, I was awake but asleep. No, I know. I, I was yes. in my room. As- yeah, thinking I was awake. Yeah, those. I get those with the short naps. Yeah, those happen with the That's short what that naps. That was like a- because you're not. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Like, because I think when you're going to sleep, you're like, I'm going to sleep, and your body's like, we're sleeping. We put everything away yeah but with the short naps it's like it's this weird intermediate sort of period yeah and and, uh so you don't quite go into that like deep deep sleep but you do but these dreams these dreams aren't like dreams like that you're like um, out of place is happening calcutta and you're a minor where you're clearly not you and you kind of understand that i was dreaming that i was asleep you're dreaming you're in your room you don't go further than your room so boring no totally wasting my time i turn them into sex i try immediately (laughs) it's very hard but, well, I had to wake up. I had no time for sex. Right, 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 right. right. But that's why I need to bring something in to the dream with me that like, can bring me out. Like a trinket, like they did in Inception. Oh, no. Yes, perfect. Right. bring a spinning thing. You bring a spin thing. But the spinning thing would only allow me to know I was sleeping. Right. I knew I was sleeping. Right. So, but you I needed need something to bring you out. I needed an outside source right. to wake me up. But yeah. I had no way of getting to the outside source. I had no right. phone call, no way to, to get you. you. Need, yeah, you need a fit. Well, an alarm. I think what you're talking about is an alarm. An alarm, yes, but it only works on a time. I need something that I can attach to my to my hand and my oh, dream. Oh, so it knows when you're pull too, me you're out too deep. So I can go pull me out. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, out. yeah. I'm too deep. <laughs> yeah, I they I, there was a thing I looked into. Uh huh. Um, and I, you know I'm sure it still exists, but it was some kind of thing like that. It yeah. was some kind of headband that you wear. Yeah. That flashes yeah. things to your your brain, like a neuron something or other. This, look. Serious donkey, or what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Because you donkey. paused in the way. No, I'm serious. You can actually look this thing up. I, I impregnable Donnie. Oh, I always get confused. Yeah, this is real. This is okay. Real as rain. Um, right. this you got to look it up. Uh-huh. Uh, this was a year ago, and it was it was 
I don't know if when it was coming out, but it was a lot of money. And so I'm not sure of where course, they landed on this. thousands of dollars. But this is like a year later, so it could be not a lot of money. Look it up. Look it up on your phone. No, I don't want to take time because it's only the two of us. It's tough for us to look up stuff. You're right. It's just the two of You're us. You're right, but also you could be lying. No, I'm not I lying. don't trust anything anymore. I don't trust I don't trust my dreams. I don't trust you. Everything I thought I believed, I no longer can believe. <laughs> and isn't that fucked up too? Because you only slept for maybe a half hour or an hour. Because time... from the time you texted me, like all those texts. Yeah. And then by the time I woke up and came over here, that was only an hour and a half. Swear to God. You texted me at 10 a.m. Really? All, although those series of texts that were that we need, we need to do the podcast, I woke up at eleven. It took me a half hour to walk over here. So I'd imagine you didn't go right to bed after you wrote those texts. So probably like an hour had passed. A whole life has changed, right? Yeah, yeah. But I know that feeling where it's like it's so real because you're just in your room. The dream doesn't go further than your room, which is fucked up because then you're like, how do I know that this is a dream? And then yeah. also you're like, well, I know this is a dream. Now I want out of this dream, but you're not letting me out. So this is just me now. Yeah. I'm here. I'm in this dream. I'm in my fake room room. I can't 100% sure. I think we're going to wake up and find out right. that we didn't even do the podcast. Right. Yeah, I know. I understand. That's that the worst. You're still in that weird spot. And this has happened before where I've gotten uh-huh. chores done in my dreams mm. and then woke up and like, you didn't do it. You did it in yep. your dream. Yeah. yeah Are you yeah, kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, I still got to move the fucking car. Yeah. I uh, dreamt that I did that. That's the worst. I paid my taxes. Yeah. I, oh, my God. Yeah. I still got to pay my taxes. I would always think that like, uh, <sighs> like you know, what boring people, what would they dream about? I, I was, you know what I mean? Yeah, what do boring people dream about? Like, if you're like, su- like you know, obviously, you know, I'm not the, you know, I'm not a evil Knievel, but. Um, yeah, you're not evil Knievel, <laughs> but you're close. But, you know, we're comedians. You're damn we close. Have, you, know, you know, we have fun ideas, whatever the hell. Yeah. Uh, but, like, really square, boring people, like, their dreams, they're either, like, crazy fucked up. Or they're just like they just dream about the rain. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're dreaming just numbers counting. <laughs> One, two, yeah, three. Yeah, or yeah. ripping someone's eyes from their body <laughs> and like smushing them and laughing. Yeah, they're psycho. <laughs> yeah. Psycho bod. Yeah, exactly. Psycho bod. Well, that's a movie. Psycho bod. Psycho bod. Yeah. Let me fucking walk you through this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah as right. It has just come to me. Psycho bod. Mm. It's a movie about a guy yeah. who gets a head transplant. Yeah, I like it. His head comes off. Mm-hmm. And they put him on the body of an old psycho. Oh, yeah. All right. So then the body, the head yeah. is trying to do the right thing. Yeah. But the body does the bad thing and just make him do psycho things. Yeah. And he can't control the body. It's a constant fight for him to fight his body. Yeah. Yeah. Psycho bot. No, I love it. There was a movie. Do you remember this? I was talking about it yesterday. Really? I think so. Idle Hands? Hands? Idle Hands! Yeah. Idle Hands. That was similar. Yes. Devin Sawow. Idle yeah. Hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I think that guy died. In the movie he did. Oh, didn't see the movie. Devin Sawow in real life, though. I think that guy died. It Wait, Idle Hands is a movie about... Idle Hands... He gets his hand cut off. He gets off, his hand cut off. Uh-huh. And he gets a new hand. And the guy... But the hand is uh, like a murderer or something, right? Once yeah. again, never seen it. Only saw the trailer. Exactly. No, at one point he masturbates. Fair. And I was like a teenager. I was like a kid, and I was like... That's fun. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's fun. And if you're gay, even more fun. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why is it more fun? Because you see a dick. When you know you're like you're probably not knowing who you are. <laughs> you're like, there's something weird about me, something that I'm not sure that I'm ready to accept yet. And then you watch a guy jerking off in a movie, and you go, oh, I'm I enjoying this. I don't think they showed this is a little an erect penis in that movie. <laughs> I just meant in the doing. trailer they alluded to masturbating, and I was like, oh, masturbating. That's a thing. We should do a movie, art house movie, <laughs> right? Where we call it. You know, we call it something like obscure, like, like the, uh, like, uh, like, uh, gray light, right? We call it gray light. Yeah. Right. And it's a movie about just two guys, right? This is how you do it. Yeah. This is how you film it, right? Uh-huh. They walk into a room. Yeah. And it's very quiet because it's right. all these art house movies. There's barely any dialogue. Sure. Like two walk in, they, they look at each other. You don't know what's going on. Right. They don't talk. One guy right. sits down. The other guy goes to the refrigerator. Yeah. And then one guy <laughs> pulls down his penis and masturbates. For the length of the rest of the movie, <laughs> you full on gray light. We call it gray light. Does the other guy is the other guy in the fridge the whole time? The whole time he's going. He's just through still the fridge. looking. He's just naming everything in the fridge. He's stuck in one of those <laughs> mind things. Like I was in my dream, where he can't ever. He's got OCD, right? He's got uh-huh. OCD, so he keeps doing yeah. back and forth things in the fridge, and he's locked in the fridge uh, because he can't get away from it. Yeah, and this other guy. 
we full on. He's just masturbating. And we show everything. Sure. We show it all. The face, the biceps, the so elbows. Mostly the dick. Mostly <laughs> okay. oh, straight okay. up oh, dick, right? right? <laughs> and then he comes, however long that takes him. Yeah. And then. Uh, well, I'd imagine the length of the movie. And then a horse walks in the room. <laughs> and that's art. Yeah. And we go, people, that's art. And we just sell it as an art film. Yeah. That's a real Matthew Barney film. I don't know what that is. Matthew Barney, I, I'm pretty sure that's the guy's name. Uh, Bjork is ex husband. It's the guy, yeah. Did he do Bunny? Brown Bunny? No, that's. Uh, that's fucking Vincent Gallo. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw Brown Bunny. I but, saw no, all no. I needed Matthew to see. Matthew Barney, this, he yeah. did uh, a series of films called The Cremester Cycle. There are five <laughs> films. What? I watched all these, by the way. <laughs> and this is why I'm the man I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he if you want to be like more like Anthony, <laughs> it sounds like you got to watch these films. Go one through five, The Cremester Circle. Knock them out. Yeah. Just like you would. Um, they're similar to The Fast and the Furious where you they're out of order. Uh, you have to watch them in out of order, but they're very. What you just described, gray light. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The the cremester that could be a fine addition to yeah. the cremester cycle. The cremester, the cremester. It's something to do with your balls. It's uh the actual like whatever it is. Your when your balls lift when you ejaculate. That's like it. That's what the cycle is. Yeah. But he did five of these movies. Yeah. They cost millions of dollars <laughs> to make. Yeah. <laughs> they are insane. Yeah. Insane to watch. You want to talk about watching a lot of flaccid penises? Yeah. For hours? That's these movies. Can, let me pause They're you movies. real quick. I want to hear what they're about. Go ahead. Can I just throw more about the gray? I got to get all the gray light stuff in. Okay. So great. here's just a quick, a quick, <laughs> we'll have two conversations. <laughs> all fine. right? Yeah. So what I'm thinking is we just hire an actor. And if you're out there and you're an actor and you're willing to do this full-on masturbation scene, yeah. send us an email because yeah. I'll film it. And then what we do is we don't tell the other actor right. that this is seen as happening. Right. And we just film his reaction to this guy jerking but off. But I thought he's not even going to look back at any point. He's he may just or naming he, things in the fridge. He's supposed to not to. But if he does and he sees, the right. actor might just go, what the fuck kind of movie am I in? Yeah. And we film that. Right. And that's the hour and a half. And that's the hour and so a half. So if he movie. walks on set, now you just have a guy masturbating for the next, like, I'd say probably upwards of hour 28 minutes. <laughs> yeah. A 90 minute movie. Yeah. All right. So back to the creme semester cycle. So creme semester cycle. I mean, like, it's basically that. The guy is an artist who works a lot in the world of Vaseline. Come on. S swear to God. Are you making this up? I'm not making it up. You can look it up. These. I'm not allowed to look things up during a podcast, you said. Yeah, that's true. All right. So we'll get back to you on this. But I think him and Bjork have since divorced. But this guy was like the most revered artist for a long time. He was the yeah. guy. He made these like five part movies. They're like within the world of art. These are the holy grail. Yeah. Um, they cost so much money to make. Um, one of them's filmed on the Isle of Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Uh, there's like cameos by, who's that famous uh, author? Fuck, what's his name? Norman Twain. Lear? Is that a guy? I know Mark Twain. I know Dr. <laughs> Seuss. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Sound like famous author is yeah, in yeah. it. Um, but they're insane movies. Like insane. What are they about? You haven't told us anything what they're about. They're not about anything. They're That's about like they're about nothing. One of them takes place in the Guggenheim, where the whole time he's like trying to get from the top to the bottom of the Guggenheim, but he has to face off against these like crazy demons and monsters. There's very demons. very weird. I wouldn't even know that there's sexual scenes. Yeah, there is nudity, tons of nudity in there. And it's I would weird. never once describe it as sexual. <laughs> Not once. That's what I'm going for in Grey Light. Dude, I can't believe we haven't watched these already. Especially High. Yeah, well, I don't want to lose uh, my it mind. It might be too much. <laughs> uh, it honestly might because you might go, I don't know if I'm watching this anymore or if I'm making some of this up. Uh, it's, yeah. it, it's, it's pretty crazy. Connor and I watched all of them when we were in Paris. Oh, that's crazy. We watched all of them and then we did the one night where we did... And I wouldn't recommend this to anyone because uh -huh. really what ends up happening is you just waste six hours of your life. Yeah. We, we decided we were going to go back and forth. We were going to watch 10 minutes of the Cremester movies. And then, no, it was another, a whole other movie. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. What uh, was the other movie? Holy Mountain by this guy, Holy Alejandro Jodorowsky, <laughs> who's another freak of a filmmaker. Really? Remember when we went to see Yeezus, the Kanye West yeah. show? Remember his whole layout, the whole set? Yeah. It was all based on this movie called Holy Mountain. Oh, yeah. That's the movie. <laughs> So we watched, remember the movie 10,000 B.C. that came out? <laughs> yeah. All right. So Connor and I decided that we were going to watch 10 minutes of 10,000 B.C., 10 minutes of Holy Mountain, back forth. Back but through the forth, Jack Black, Michael Sarah movie. Yes. 
<laughs> so we did that, and uh, just uh, as like a fun thing. Um, but it ended up six hours later. It was like when you play Risk, and you're like, I, 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 "Why do we do this?" I love it. I really do think that I'm going to try to make a movie. Gray light. Mm-hmm. Maybe the masturbation scene we cut. Just well, because. I mean, well, that's most. That's the whole movie. Greg. <laughs> Yeah, but if maybe I make the it masturbation real, scene, you're talking about the whole movie. But I'm gonna make a real weird movie yeah. where I have like gr- white noise playing through the whole movie. Yeah, and you have to talk over it. You know? Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, and that's, some guy just being like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that's basically like video art. Yeah. Yeah. Art movie. Yeah. And sell them on the road. We got. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun thing to sell on the road. Yeah, great. You're at Yuck Yucks in Ottawa. <laughs> yeah, by my if, movie. It's called. If you liked my show, <laughs> well, take a gander at Gray Light, which is a very heady art house film. <laughs> That's mainly white noise, a European man masturbating, uh, a young actor walks off set <laughs> two minutes in with a bunch of uh, whispering throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. So if you like my jokes about yeah. getting fat. Yeah, you'll love this. Yeah, we'll make yeah. The, the true a true nightmare flick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I love it. I I always I love all those. Uh, I love all those movies for the sake of that they made them. <laughs> you know, yeah, that they made them. Yeah, they've swindled people. Yeah, into dumping a lot of cash. Yeah. into these things. They've flown people out. They've gotten famous people to be in them. Yes, they've covered the set in a bunch of goop. I'll say this. I love it. I am currently redoing the Patreon. By the way, I wanted to talk to you about this. I think that we're just going to change the Patreon to you donate. Everyone donates three dollars. Okay, that's it. And whatever you, if you donate three dollars or more, you get whatever we put up. No more levels. Uh, okay, except one level. Yeah. If you donate twenty dollars, all that movie goes into making gray light. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you donate twenty, right. understand that you'll never see that money. It's going into my own movie. Gray light. Yeah. But I think we just do a, a, a baseline thing because all these different levels. No, I'm fine with that. Brendan was doing all that shit, and I, I can't do we it. We can't be doing all it's that. It's too much. All right, fine. So and I'm going to get those phone calls. Three bucks, there, you get all the bonus content that's on Patreon from here on out? Yeah, three or five. Three or five. We'll or probably say five. All right, we'll do five. Five bucks here on out. You get everything. You get the bonus episode. Yeah, you get everything you can put on Patreon. It's not that we didn't write. That's not in. Um, <laughs> It's not written in stone yet because <laughs> you have to give me time to fix all that stuff. Uh, yeah, right. All right. So, know, a real slow process here. I, look, man, if you're listening to the podcast, if you're a fan of the podcast, you know how we operate. <laughs> we, we don't. We say one thing and maybe that gets done. <laughs> and if it does get done, you're looking at a year from now. So you get the situation. That being in. said, fun fact, we might have some t-shirts going on to this website. Yeah? Because Joe don- d- designed a thing. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. So I think what we'll do is uh, there's a company that I could just send that to. All right. And then we don't have to do anything. If you want to buy the shirt, they mail it to them, and they just send us a check. Oh, man. That'd be and huge. they take, and we don't have to do anything. Yeah, I'm not even looking to make money off these things. I'm just looking to get this off our back so people are happy. Oh, yeah, so people could have some shirts. So people could have some shirts. Exactly. You know? Look at those. Um, anyway, those are just, it's just a thing. So I got to figure out how we get our hands on those Matthew Barney movies. Matthew I don't Barney even know movies. if I'm saying his real last name right. Look them up. I'll look them up later. You look them up, and I'll talk. That's fine. Yeah, we'll get to it later. I could pause. But anyway, it. I'll get. I gotta try to. Get, Connor somehow might have the movies. I'll try to get my hands on him. Yeah, he's coming to visit. Maybe he'll bring him. Tell him. Okay. Well, this is a shout out. Everyone, tweet at Connor. Bring the Matthew Barney movies. Yeah, because I think that'd be a fun night for us. <laughs> yeah. And I think it would be real inspiration for you for Greylight. For Greylight. If you're gonna make Greylight, I think you should watch these movies first. I'll need a camera. <laughs> I'll get Tom Bono. Tom Bono just got a camera, and he said. If you have an idea for something, I'll film it. Great. I don't know that he, you know, well, he'll be listening to this until we sure. find out. That's what you're in on, Tom. We're going to make the movie Grey Light. Yeah. But you can have no artistic control. Can I just say one more thing? I am the artist. <laughs> can I say one more thing about yeah. Grey Light? Yeah. I think we should do a drone camera, but oh, yeah. I think someone should be holding the drone. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that's fun. And no one would even know that that's happening. They'll just think it's a camera. Yeah, they'll they'll just think it's a normal camera. Yeah, or we do a movie called The Peepers, where we if you donate a thousand dollars to the Patreon, I'll buy a drone for a thousand dollars. Only one person has to do it, and then I'll just film in people's windows, <laughs> and we'll release that as Peepers. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, man. I I mean, <coughs> Peepers is a lot more likely to happen than Graylight. 
I mean, beepers we could do it this afternoon. <laughs> I need a drone. Oh, yeah, we need the drone. Yeah, or we could climb with a ladder. Here's a fun thing, too. The ladder, the ladder men will call. I, all right, I like the ladder men a lot. Yeah. But I like to go back to beepers, <laughs> and I like the idea of a drone camera. I think we dress up the drone. Like in a suit? Yes. Like a flying... Yes. Suit with you a head. A suit. You put those big googly eye glasses. You put a mustache on him. So then for peepers. He's Yeah. There's just a tiny man floating around. So they're not like, what? Like, they're more intrigued. They don't know. Um, and then, yeah. And then we do the making of peepers. It's got two camera for eyes. Yeah. It's kind of like short circuit. Yeah. But not really. But not really. It's like a man in a suit flying yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. With a wobbly suit looking in your window. Yeah, man, I don't, you know, all right, so what's, you know, like, people are already taking pictures of well, people on the train. I got an idea. Let me just pause this, just to say this real quick. I'm Great. sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put a sign at the Queensboro Bridge that uh-huh. says, by entering Queens, you give us the rights to film you. You know, yeah. kind of like they do in a right. comedy club. By entering Queens, you're in Peepers. <laughs> So if you don't want to be in peepers, turn around. <laughs> turn around. Yeah. Yeah. By entering Queens, you give up all the rights to yeah. your. To, we are. You're in peepers. Yeah. I'm sorry, and I cut you off. No, no, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Rad dude, cast yeah. fan, make that sign. I wonder. For us. Yeah. I don't know the law. But yeah. I wonder. It's like this is this is a verbal agreement. Yeah. That you decided to be in peepers. Yeah. Like crossing this bridge. <laughs> crossing the yeah. bridge. You're in now in peepers. Yeah, man. No, that would be great. Um. Yeah, because that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. People are taking pictures of people on the train. Without them knowing, and they're seeming to get away with it on a daily basis. Yeah. So this is just a longer. This is a longer picture. We do a. F- yes, we're doing a full right. movie of those things. Right. Life is our set. The world <laughs> right. is our set. Yeah. I will say three things. I will. I will have Tom. Tom, you better be listening to this. Yeah. Because he gets no artistic control. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fun to just be de- demand someone mm-hmm. help you and then demand they are not allowed yeah, to yeah, do yeah, anything yeah. they want to yeah, do. It's always fun. These are three things I demand. One, we film holding a drone. Yeah, and flying. I get a horse. I wanna, oh yeah, we gotta I get want, that horse. I want to film because I want to go old school with this. Yeah, right. I don't want to use new technology. Yeah. With, People use dollies. Right. I want to use a you horse. You want a camera on a horse. I want a camera this, on a horse. You're talking about old school, a school that never existed. <laughs> I don't know that they ever did that, ever. <laughs> they could have in a steampunk, a steampunk type era. Yes. Once again, a genre of a world that didn't exist. <laughs> you're talking about instead of a dolly, they used to use, I love this idea that before car, cars, uh, horses and cars, that's basically how it went. But yeah. for you, you think horses did everything. <laughs> From We didn't have couches. We had horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, a horse... Yeah, we if cars were never invented, yes. or wheels were never invented, yeah. everything else was invented, yeah. we would have cameras and we would have horses. And I'll put my camera on a horse. I love this alternative reality. Yeah. That the, everything, the only thing <laughs> different is just horses do... Horse pump. Horses did everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. All right. That's fun. Peepers. I, I, yeah. Peepers is good, man. Yeah, I think peepers will be good. I, like peep- I can't get the image of a, a flying <laughs> yeah. drone in a suit zipping by your window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's fun. I'll just have someone draw that up for us. Dude, I watched this um, alien documentary last night. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. I already believe that there are aliens yeah. out there. Yeah. So all that this did was just further reinforce whatever I thought. Um, and it was really, it was like going well for a while. Uh-huh. It was, it's called Unacknowledged. It's on Netflix. Uh-huh. You watch it, you'd think the same thing. Bert, do you believe in aliens? I gotta ask you that. Well, I have a very big theory on aliens that will tell you, but I don't want to interrupt you. No, no, no. That's so you fine. Tell me. You can go right ahead with your alien theory. I believe that aliens exist. Yes. And they exist. They're already here, but they're not like we see them. Puerto Ricans. Yes. Yes. Martians. <laughs> yeah. Or I would say lesbians. Oh, really? Lesbians are all from Mars. <laughs> Why do you How? say that? Well, because uh, they're doing other things. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> Look, you, that's what it sucks about nowadays. Yeah. I can't just say a wild thing yeah. and have fun with it. Now it's like offensive. You know? I'm not offended. I know, but someone out there is going, Greg's saying uh, lesbians are aliens. Look, man. I just want to throw a wild thing out there. If you're, uh, of all, I mean, of all the things to get offended by, yeah. <clears throat> I, you, I would think that people get offended by things that are rooted in reality. Yeah. You saying I think all lesbians are aliens? Yeah, because they're doing a bunch. What did you? How did you describe it again? They're doing a bunch of other things. because they're doing a bunch of other things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that that has enough grounds for someone. To, I don't think that that someone would be like, "Well, I'm taking that seriously." Well, I'll tell you the story. Okay. So what happened was an alien. The first alien lesbian came down to Earth. Yes. Right. Yeah. And said, "I will do what they do in the mating." Right. And it started <laughs> making out with a woman. And someone yeah. said, "Hey, man, what are you doing with that woman?" And she went, "I am not an alien." 
I am a lesbian, this is what we do, and everyone went, oh, like they tried to play it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so not, now. You know, not for nothing, alien, lesbian, the words. A lesbian. Yeah. That's the movie. Close enough. A lesbian. A lesbian. Yeah, a al- <laughs> Le- Wait, this is a movie. This is a movie. I have three movies you have to make now. Peepers, a lot of, Grey Light, you and wake up some Coffee does turn you into a guy on cocaine. <laughs> you just you have all kinds of movie ideas. You yeah. have all, you're all big ideas. Look, and here's why it's not offensive. Yeah. Because the aliens aren't a bad thing to be. No. You know? So don't act like we're saying you're aliens. It's not an insult. Mm-mm. It's just another theory. Right. Anything could be a theory. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So... This is what happened was an alien came down to Earth. This is the story. Yeah. And he started making out with another girl because he didn't okay. know that a girl is supposed to make out with a guy because the alien was dressed like a woman. Right. It was in the woman's clothes and just <laughs> made out with the woman because he didn't know that it's supposed to make out with a guy. Yeah. And then some guy went, those two women are making out. And the alien went, no, that's it. I'm a new thing. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> and then that's how lesbian. And, and so you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. He was I- just trying to play it off. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So then, so then that just ran, they ran with it. Yeah, and they're trying to save our Earth from climate control. Mm. They're trying to save our Earth from the hurricanes. Right. And they're doing it all with the use of, uh, of genes and Subarus. <laughs> Is this offensive? I don't think it's offensive. I think you're on to something. I think that lesbians um, are usually altruistic people. What does that mean, altruistic? What that means True like, to themselves. Yeah, sure. That doesn't. I mean, what well, that means? Sure, that's something else. But like, what I mean is that like they think outside of themselves. They're yeah. thinking about climate change. They're thinking about yeah. the president. Yeah, you know what I mean. They're, they're all those things. Humans so, yeah. were destined to kill themselves. Right. Humans were on a. And the cr- lesbians are here to save to us. save us. Real right. lesbians. Yeah, lesbians. All the lesbians. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And gay guys are just gay guys. <laughs> They're just having a, a couple queens having a good time. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to, hello! <coughs> hello, lady. <laughs> oh, this woman is bothering me. It's <laughs> more like a, a Simpsons character than anything. <laughs> um, you blustering ball of bullshitting. <laughs> but yeah, so, oh, anyway, so yes. these guys, uh, this uh, this thing or whatever. What thing? The Unacknowledged. Ah, this yes. documentary, right? Oh, I just keep cutting you off. No, it's fine. This is Sorry. all great. I love yeah. these theories. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Are basically, we they yes. were saying, and I this is what always trips me up. About the Rad Dude Cast t shirt. The Rad Dude Cast. Are we recording? That should be what it is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's yeah, on the back. Are we yeah. recording? Are we that's recording? Great. That's great. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, Tell me about your movie. No, no, it's <laughs> my movie. It's, so I always have trouble with this. The the guy, and he seemed to, you know, all these people, they seem to know their stuff, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Not too many wild looking people, because usually that happens in these like conspiracy theory kind of uh documentaries yeah. or whatever you're like this all sounds good but the guy himself had he, the look of the man uh-huh. or the woman uh-huh. is like out to lunch and uh-huh. you're like why would i believe you but these all they seem like they had a good head on their shoulders you yeah got admirals you got generals you got all these there's some generals in there saying about aliens there's some generals there's what some quotes saying? from like jimmy carter saying i believe aliens exist um was this funded by blink 182 <laughs> no no but i yeah that guy's like Big on that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> That's but, a song called The Aliens right. Exist. But I thought it was uh, this guy, and he starts off with, like, um, The Aliens Exist. Here's a bunch of footage, Roswell, the whole thing, walking you through. Uh-huh. And then he's talking about how Kennedy was killed because Kennedy looked in of course. to aliens. Of then course. Marilyn Monroe was Let killed because she looked into aliens. As soon as you got a thing, yeah. you just throw Kennedy was shot because of it. <laughs> yeah. That's your first move. I know. They do these. And then, like, I mean, they had, like, interesting ideas about how, like, the media has discredited aliens. Yeah. And that's how, like, this is actual footage and these are people talking. But because of that, and, like, similar to what's going on sort of right now, where if you can control the media, you can control the narrative. Sort of people's perception of inter- information. Yeah. Whether it be, like, to take it serious or not take it serious. So I thought that was interesting. But they did. They jumped to those things. And then everything comes back to because they looked into aliens. Of it's course. like every single thing could be that. Tom then. Petty was just killed. Right. <laughs> right. Right. He, he fucking asked too many questions. Yeah. And that's my question is why? Why, What's what? the big deal with us knowing whether or not aliens exist? Oh, this okay. Answer this your own question. Guy's theory. Yeah, what uh-huh. he said was that because aliens have a technology uh-huh. where they can they can turn empty space, negative space that's all around us, into energy. And Whoa. if and if we ever got our hands on that technology, it would put the fossil fuel companies out of business. Of course, it would. So that was like the big like ta da moment. Yeah, but. 
Is that, that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Like, is that enough no. to shoot, to kill president after president after president? Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, we have a pill that'll make you quit smoking. So then Big Tobacco killed all the presidents. Yeah, that seems like pretty far reaching. Here's why I think that's crazy. Yeah. Right? And I'm gonna I don't mean to get political. Yeah. And I don't mean to get divisive. Yeah. But there's a lot of people right now that don't like our president. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if no one has killed us him, two, not one of them, praise our great leader. Yeah. <laughs> praise all hell. <laughs> all hell, Hitler. <laughs> well, there's no way to there's no way to take that out of context. <laughs> So I guess just burn this episode, huh, Greg? Uh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. What's funny? Tough is- times to get away with a joke like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just do. Oh, yeah. A disclaimer: I We are against all Nazis. Of course, I don't like Nazis, and of course, I would actually happen right there. For actual the truth, yeah, I wanted to say Hydra, and I said that's not a fun one. <laughs> so I just grabbed anything, and let's the first jump one I grabbed to the big was, guy. was I yeah. just grabbed Hitler, yeah, and I yeah. didn't know. I get it. You know? No, totally. Anyway, say yeah. What? You were like, here's why I don't – here's what I find wrong about that. About what? The thing. Oh, Trump. Well, here's the yes. thing. No one – if it's so easy to kill if – if Big Tobacco could kill our president or whoever, Big right. big Oil. Right. How come no one has killed Trump for all the things that – how come Big Mexico didn't kill Trump? Or how come Big Wall, Big Little Wall <laughs> Company didn't kill Trump? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. How come the Mexican government? I'm saying anybody who doesn't like him. Right. If one company didn't like JFK, right? There's a hundred companies now that don't like Trump, right? Or Obama, right? Or Hillary. Yeah, but we're talking about money. We're talking about money. Oh, money, money, big money. Yeah, big money. Because these fossil fuel companies, their oil companies, the coal, they got the money. Yeah, yeah. What's big gay up to? <laughs> What are they? What are they? I hear somebody talk about aliens. I'll tell you this: this aliens. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the truth about aliens yeah. right now. Yeah, oh, great. <laughs> uh, aliens are here, mm-hmm. but here's the thing: are you talk about. Do you hear tell me about lesbian aliens again? No, I would. Yeah, uh, that would have been a great bit. <laughs> aliens are here, but you know how you can't see a fart. Yeah, and you can't touch a fart. Yes. Right? Yeah. They're just here on another wavelength. I love this. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, they're already here. We can't see them. They can't see us. Yeah. They're of a different type of anatomy. Yeah. An untouchable and anatomy. There is that thing of the people, some people have this ability to see, I think it's called perfect color, uh-huh. where they can see other colors that people can't because they're um, they're able to unlock that part with yeah. the eye. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I why think not? so, man. Yeah. Or I have a big theory, too, that- uh-huh. They're moving at a different time. So understand this, yeah, right? Okay. You look at a fly. A yeah. fly dies in 24 hours. Right. But to that fly, he's lived 70 years. Right. Look at a mountain. Right. A mountain is a mountain is sure. moving at such a slow pace right. over the course of billions of years. Right, right, right. So there's an alien here, right. but he's moving so slow right. that we're just dying in between him. So we're living in between the time, man. Uh. Oh, that's very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> you know, you infinite in, infinite out, right? right? You're going infinite in, meaning you can get super small, yeah. so small that there could be universes within us. Infinite out, it could be, we're also the middle of that. So if you get bigger, 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 we're living in something giant, but then also infinite time. So I'm saying uh-huh. that, uh, there's a booger on my finger. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying that. So you understand what I'm saying, like the Men in Black thing, right? Yeah. Where you had the little universe within a within yes. the, the yes. little collar, the, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's infinite in. You can get right. infinitely smaller, right? Or you can get infinitely bigger, sure. Okay. Got I'm it. saying the same thing, but with, with time. time. I understand. So that there's different. If you go super fast, mm-hmm. you're dead in a second, but you've experienced a thousand years. Right. Or if you go super slow, right, you're dead within a billion. You know, a billion years. So yeah, there are aliens here that are just moving so slow. Right, that we, we don't, can't, we don't notice. We them. can't, yeah, yeah. A, a mountain is an alien. Right. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, and yeah, yeah. it doesn't have a heartbeat because a heartbeat takes over the course of four hundred years. <laughs> That's what I would love if we find out aliens come here and they're all tables. They're all tables, <laughs> and they've just been. We're just trying, trying to figure out. Yeah, and like, just a bunch of tables. <laughs> um, did I tell you about infinity theory? Uh, probably, but I'd love to hear it again. Okay. I had to call Taco on this one. Yeah. This is big. <laughs> okay. You might want to sit down. Okay. I love that the guy that made Grey Light might have the answers to the universe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Follow me on this. I'm here. Racial slurs. Oh, boy. <laughs> racial slurs. <laughs> okay. Curse words. <laughs> okay. Horrible things to say. Uh-huh. Aren't always horrible things mm-hmm. because sometimes they're numbers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, walk me through it. All right. Now, Corey Griffin uh, knows. he. I think he actually disproved this, but okay. I'm going to go through it anyway. Shout out to my boy, Corey Griffin. Is Corey a scientist or anything? Yes. He seems like a real smart guy. He's the best. He seems like a very measured, smart guy. Do you know what I mean? Let me tell you this about Corey Griffin. Yeah, that yeah. guy would hang with us. He's yeah. just like Taco. Yeah. He's got one problem, one flaw. And I'll tell him right to his face. <laughs> Lacking confidence <laughs> oh. this guy uh-huh. always says things like well i don't want to bother you uh, you're not bothering me right, you're right, great right, i enjoy right. you right. i enjoy talking to you yeah he's super smart he's super thoughtful right. he's very low right. paced what's the bother here there's right. no bother there's no bother this guy could be crushing puss 27 <laughs> 4 all right 27 <laughs> days a week four hours a day <laughs> He could be. This guy is so smart. He's a huge man, too. Yeah, he's a big A Goliath guy. of a uh, man. He is a big dude. So I understand. He, he, may have dis- I, he may have disproved my theory. Okay. So let's get back to what I just said. Yes. I'm going to repeat it yeah. for the dum-dums out there. <laughs> Everything you say, no matter how good or how offensive, yeah. is also a number. Why? 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 Easy. <laughs> because uh, you give a scientific theory like someone telling a, selling a timeshare. <laughs> <laughs> because numbers... Go on forever. Yeah. So eventually you run out of letters to use. So you've at some point you gotta start reusing words. Okay. Right? So let's say you get past like gajillion gabillion. Okay. Right? Sure. You've used every single word, every single letter, yeah. Up to a hundred letters. Right. To describe a word. Gotcha. Now you gotta start using other words. Right. You know? Table is now a number. Right. Table is a billion zeros. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. I see what you're saying. And then you run out of words. So right. then you got to start using all the F words, all so the bad what, words. What does this have to do with racial slurs? Racial slurs are also numbers. What, how, but they're not numbers yet. They're just letters right now. <laughs> they every can be numbers combination, is what you're saying. Every combination of letters yeah. eventually becomes a repre- represents a number. Right, so we're gonna. Uh, I, so what you're saying is we're gonna run out of letters because letters is fixed. Uh, actually, well, here's where. Hang on a second. I'm gonna really explain <laughs> this to you, but I want you to understand what I'm saying. Yeah, first. yeah I'm trying. And if you don't I'm understand it, to, I'm... I bet our dumb fans don't understand. You're all so dumb. <laughs> Look at you, dummies. No, I'm kidding. I love you all. Jake Neitzel said night, not Nitzel, like I've been saying, like a oh. Schnitzel. He says it's Neitzel. He corrected oh, me. And I said, don't you ever correct me. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> You'll be neutral and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> so, but yeah, follow me here, I'm saying. So, yeah, right. well, yeah, walk me through it again. So every number mm-hmm. eventually becomes a, every word eventually becomes a number because yeah, you have I to start that. using all those, right? Yeah, okay. So uh, fat black bitch yes. is a number. So that's number three. Honky white boy, Yeah, that's a number. It's not number three. It's a bajillion Zeros. Okay, then what's number three? Chair? No, number three is three. Oh. So three is one, Why two, three. Why are these becoming numbers? I, that's the uh, right. Hang on one second. Let's try this again. <laughs> You're so simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's also a very stupid... Am kid. I so simple or are you so <laughs> convoluted? <laughs> <laughs> so the word one represents yes. one. Gotcha. So you need a word to represent... An amount. Okay. But amounts go on forever. Yes. Right? So you run out of words to represent them. Because there's only... You have to start using every single combination of words to represent numbers because numbers are infinite. Yeah. I, I, I would need to... Here's the problem. Uh-huh. I would need... Uh, I do process things a little bit slower, especially yeah, yeah. with Do you want me to like pause this. it? You want to go for a walk? <laughs> no. <laughs> for the sake of the listeners, uh, uh-huh. I can't have you walk me through this Why again, not? but they I need to. If you, think you get, if you don't get it, they don't get it. They might, though. I, honestly, like I, people, I'm not uh, super... Like, I'll read to you... Uh, I, I need stuff to be explained to me a lot. Yeah, that's okay, because... But I don't. They, they, you got to keep explaining this to me. That's like people are probably losing their Look, minds here. No man. People that have gotten it four explanations ago are probably they didn't like, get okay. it. Okay, so if numbers are infinite 
and infinity goes on forever, does every combination of letters in turn eventually represent a number? Like is Waffle Maker a number eventually? I'm talking so far out there, eventually you will have to use every word oh, I see what you mean. to represent every number. Yeah, okay. Right? I see what you mean. I mean, so, I'm, so this is also, I tweeted at uh, Neil Tyson Negrassi. Oh, because we don't have words for numbers that go so yeah. far. Yeah, but yeah. But we don't or we're... We don't. Well, they have a number. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Kind of like how you can name a star because there's infinite stars. Sure. You, everyone can have one. Right. That's kind of what I'm saying. So you have to do that. Right? So you have to do that just as shorthand is what you're saying rather than you say the whole number of like bagillion, gazillion, go, 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 You just go waffle maker. Yeah. Well, be, well you, I mean, the, what the truth is because there's infinite, so, there's also infinite combinations of uh, letters. Right. So I guess. Is there infinite combinations of letters? Yes. Well, yeah, I guess there is. Because okay, it's just because. So. Yeah. Because yeah. a letter, there's totally. also numbers in letters. So totally. Numbers, okay. I get it. So I asked Taco this, and Corey Griffin wrote this insanely long, <laughs> and but like he actually walked you through it right. like smartly, and like he really took some time, which right. was crazy. Yeah. Taco said you can take so infinity minus one. Yeah. Still infinity. You can't subtract from infinity. Okay. Right? So I didn't I was like, well, this is blowing my mind. How sure. does this he goes, you can subtract infinity from infinity. Right. And it's still infinity. Okay. And the way we came to terms is that I could if I have infinite piss yeah. and I'm and you're infinitely drinking my piss. <laughs> okay. I still have infinite piss. Even though you're infinitely taking away my piss. Right, right, right. I'm right, infinitely right. pissing into your mouth. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. Uh, I get it. So yeah, so the whole th- waffle maker thing isn't true because you can take all those words out. You can take all the racial slurs out and still have infinite words. Right. We probably lost all the listeners, huh? Uh, no, I, we might have kept two that are really <laughs> like two people that are just like <laughs> been waiting for this conversation for you know four years. Yeah. So aliens exist. They exist within numbers. Mm-hmm. Numbers are magic. Oh, I see what you mean. You don't because I didn't really. I just said anything. Yeah. Well, I watched that movie. That movie was good. <laughs> not the movie. Another documentary I'm just talking about. Yeah. The movie, I watched it on a plane. What was the movie with, uh, not truly anymore, Amy Adams, that you recently happened about aliens? That movie. I like that movie. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, Contact. Maybe, yeah. It wasn't Contact. No, I think that was Jodie Foster. Ellipsical? <laughs> 20 years ago. What was that movie? Nah, yeah. Contact. No. <laughs> no, I literally just said that, didn't I? <laughs> God damn it. I don't know. It's okay. But that movie, I saw it on a, a, a plane like a couple months ago. That yeah. Movie was I want to see it. Event Horizon. <laughs> yeah. No, that was too scary. What the fuck? That was it? one of the no, scary. That's scary Event Horizon, I think, gets a bad shake in not being one of the scariest movies of all time. I think anyone who's seen it knows it. Y- you really think that? Dude, I everyone I know Event who's Horizon seen it. Event Horizon and Candyman are two. I think those are the scariest movies I've ever seen. I've never seen Candyman. You've never seen Candyman? Yeah, no. I saw it recently. Doesn't hold up. <laughs> but, but at the time, yeah. holy hell, man. That I would even say that's a movie to watch. But watch it under the proper context. Because, all right, you're an adult now. So you're not going to be as scared as uh-huh. you would have been as a kid. So I have to make myself a child. So you have to make yourself a child. I'll put on a kitty blanket. Put on a kitty blanket. A little you turn all the lights off. Uh-huh. Um, maybe you do a little. I'll say things like, I want some more nap time. <laughs> Like a real fucking yeah. sex freak. You know one of those guys who shows up in a diaper? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Orders a hooker and she goes, another one of these. <laughs> no, 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 That's no. going to charge extra. <laughs> yeah. And I totally get that yeah. from a um, uh, sex worker's point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's uh, that, you're, you're putting on a brave face, you know? Yeah, and that's the kind of guy I appreciate sexually. The guy where a hooker looks, this is, I'm going to charge you extra. I got to charge you extra for this. <laughs> I gotta charge you Sorry, extra. I got to. That's not on the house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so be a boy again. Because this involves acting. Yes. So now I'm not just a sex worker. Now I'm an actor. Wait, are we still talking about Candyman? No, we're not. We're talking about <laughs> something else. <laughs> Candyman. But what I'm saying is, yes, you dress like a, you got a little kitty blanket. Uh-huh. I want my mom. You, you do yeah, all those things. Yeah. You watch Candyman under the proper uh, situation that you should have watched it. Uh-huh. I'm not sure as an adult if it'll hold up. But, man, was that a frightening movie. And then Event Horizon. I always find these movies, and they stick with me for one reason or another. These movies where... The the something else takes over your mind and you're not who you are anymore. Oh yeah, See, like, like that's my dream. what happens in Event Horizon. Yeah, the ship is cursed and it drives people mad. Yeah, and then they end up like uh, Blair Witch Project Two had a similar thing. Here's the thing, right? Yeah, if I'm an alien 
and I can jump between bodies. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a body jump. Yeah. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going to go, I'm going to make us all kill each other, yeah. right? Because then you'll figure me out, yeah. you'll isolate me, and you'll kill me. Right. What I do is I just go into my own, I just go into your wallet, I take three bucks out. <laughs> I put it aside, and I go into every person's body, take three bucks out, right? And then all of a sudden, now I got like you know a couple hundred dollars, right? <laughs> yeah. And then no one knows it's happening. Sure, you know, and I'm making money, right? You know, these aliens they want to jump bodies and go big. Yeah, what I what do they do? I, I don't even know that aliens are jumping bodies as much as or they are. demons or demons spirits. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a spirit comes in, and the first thing right. he wants to do is go crazy. Right. I'll murder everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ease yeah, yeah. up, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pump the yeah. brakes. Get yourself something sensible. Get it yes, cheap. you know, Just masturbate. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> that. Yeah. Well, did you ever watch that movie Hollow Man with Kevin Bacon? Yeah. Yeah. He gets into some sexual stuff when he becomes an invisible person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get into, I think that's course. what everybody thinks. Yeah, if I'm invisible, what's the first thing you do when you're invisible? Uh, first thing I'm doing when I'm invisible, uh, honestly, like I probably just uh, I take a bunch of naps. <laughs> really, I take a bunch Why? of naps. What? What? Because no one knows I'm around. So, so you can just take, sleep, and no one's gonna hold I you to it. I can sleep anywhere, and no one is gonna bother me. Well, unless someone might sit on you or run you over. They're going to freak out more than I'm going to freak out. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're, like, taking a nap on the street, a car will run you over. I'm not going to take a nap on the street. I'm just talking about a park. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about I could sleep wherever I want. I could go. See, that's the thing. I can go into hotels. That's my biggest problem is that I'm tired places, but I'm far away from our apartment in Queens. Yeah. But I can't sleep wherever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so I could just walk into, like, the Ritz-Carlton or wherever. Yeah, yeah. And I, a, a woman is cleaning, and I could just go right on the bed. And oh, go right to good. sleep. Yeah, I would yeah, love free that. hotels, free hotels, and like in expensive places that I couldn't normally be. Yeah, one of those places. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know what I would do? What's up? I would follow you around. Yeah, and help you with things, like a ghost. <laughs> oh yeah, like you a know? guardian angel. Yeah, like yeah, like I'd walk around and go, that guy's got a ace ace low, or whatever. Mm hmm. You know, mm -hmm. or something. Maybe I would. I don't know what I would do. But this being said, I have to also. I got a tweet. That I have to tell you about. Someone tweeted at me and did let me know that filming the movie where the guy, uh, where we just get an actor. Peepers? No, no. Gray oh, Light. Gray Light. Where we just trick a guy and yeah. then he watches a guy masturbate. Yeah. That's going to be illegal. <laughs> yeah. I kind of oh, came that late. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a sexual assault yes. on an actor. You're going to run a lot of trouble with Gray Light and Peepers. A peepers. Both of those. Well, I think we're clear Peepers because we put the sign up on Queensboro <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> I'm not sure if legally that's enough. <laughs> Well, they do it at comedy clubs. They do do it at comedy clubs. Yeah, but that's different. Why? Because you're being filmed, peepers. Yeah, we're filming you in comedy clubs. You're no, we're not. They have signs in comedy clubs sometimes that say, "If you enter here, you are you're yes. you're giving up your rights, and when, you will be filmed." Yes, when people knowingly are like, "Oh, they're filming." Going to Queens, being like, I can't go in the whole area yeah. of Queens where I live because you're filming. Because we got a it's flying different. man, when it's a flying drone man in a suit yeah, coming no, that's around. That's very different. <laughs> I'm not, and I don't even know, like, I don't know a lot about the law. I just know that you're, that's, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get in a lot of trouble there because we don't have a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this now. Yes. Are you okay? I feel like I took us off the rails. Well, we're, we didn't have a plan here today, Greg. I thought it was a fun one, though. Yeah, this is great. I'm enjoying it. Um, how about I didn't annoy you? I cut you off a thousand times. No, I went I from dead you. tired to fucking flying through. I don't. If I cared, I would have said something. Would you? Yes. What's the last time I did something that made you mad? What was it? Uh, I don't know, but I usually say something. You've never said anything in my life that yes, I, made I have. You, I've never made you mad. Um, tell no. me. What, tell me. Tell me in my face right now what disturbs me about me. Let's get to it. <laughs> Do it. No, I can take it. There's nothing. I can take it. <laughs> there's nothing, man. You're fucking. You're you're uh, shit. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. No, man. I don't like you. I, I do. Like I you. like you. I know. I that hurt. I got shit so bad. Well, what are we at? <sighs> We're there. We're oh, there. Right. But I feel like we could get one more good punch in. Oh, okay. Also, say your credits. Not um, credits. Uh, well, that's the thing. I'm excited about. This. Are we going to Comic Con all day? Do you want to do an all day? I would Thursday? think. Thursday. Yeah. I'm not going Thursday. Why not? I can go Friday. How many tickets? I thought you were doing the panel Thursday. No, I had to cancel because they because I wasn't I was booked on a comp I was booked on this oh, festival. Yeah. And I said I'm out and the guy went, what, what, what's it gonna take? 
Oh. Tripled my money. Oh, now I'm headlining two shows. Oh, man. I went from just a guy to headlining yeah. two shows. Oh, that's great. So yeah, now I'm like, I got to do this. Is that stand up? Can we, can we go anyway on Friday? Um, During the day. Yeah, I have something from two to three. That's not bad. So I can go after. Or for Saturday morning. Yeah, man. I mean, oh, we have these passes. We can go every day. I don't know. What's your pass say? Is it for the I, weekend? I don't know. Yeah, I'll take a look. Maybe. If not, I'll buy us passes. <laughs> I'll take a look. I got shit. All right, man. Well, let's be done. Right. Uh, Do you have any... Yeah, I mean, you're going to Rhode Island. You should let people know. Yeah. Oh, hey, if you're in Rhode Island... Uh, oh, shit. Today's Tuesday. So Thursday, I'm I'm headlining the Rhode Island Comedy Festival on Thursday. And then uh, this weekend, nothing really matters. I'm going to try to go to Comic-Con. So, you know... Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll be at Comic-Con uh, Thursday with Freed. Um, yeah. doing some kind of panel. I'm so furious. I can't believe. I'm it. so furious when I saw the panel they had. Yeah, it was you, Jared Freed, <laughs> Luis Gomez, and I'm like, these are the guys you're getting for Comic Con. Yeah, pa-? I'm a fucking. I had to. Well, I asked him, and he was like, yeah. yeah, of course, I'll put you on. Yeah, yeah. But you gotta get nerds. I'm a guy. I love toys. I love <laughs> yeah. comics. Yeah, you can't have all these athletes. Yeah, all these marksmen. Um. So yeah, I'll be there, and then uh, I got you know uh, the special comes out Friday at midnight. You want oh to watch my that? god, the special comes deal, out man. this Friday. Yeah, what's what's wrong? I feel like I should have been doing something. There's nothing. To what do. we gotta do? There's nothing to do. It comes out. That's all you could do. I, I they put up a clip today. I posted it on Facebook. All right. I really gave myself a thing where I was like, I'm gonna like really go crazy and I'm gonna promote. Yeah. And then the minute I was like, I'm not. I can't do that. I'm yeah. Just not that guy. I can't do it. Yeah. I buy Anthony's album. We gotta get to number one. Uh. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Special coming out Friday, airs at midnight. I don't know how much. They don't really air it a lot, so, you know, either DVR it or watch it as is because yeah. I don't know how to stream it or any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a, a bunch of people bought, shared, listened to the album. It's really cool. You how many do you think? Keep doing that. 100,000? 50? <laughs> no, I don't think so. We have to talk about somebody's album I listen to that's absolute garbage. Okay, we'll do that. Um, but, yeah, g- get Dream Occupation. Yeah. Um, uh, it's really cool, all the people that have. Uh-huh. And, um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I was in Toronto. I don't know that any... Uh, Ducats, uh people were out there, but if they were, thank you for coming out to shows. Uh, and, um, anything else? Uh, know? yes, I um, uh, August. Uh, this is next August, so we're looking at August twenty third through the twenty fifth. I will um be doing shows at uh, eh. Uh, Ed Ed's uh, Hot Sun Falafel Stand out in Phoenix. Hot Sun Falafel. Yeah. It, it's actually an interesting idea. What Ed does is he doesn't cook falafels uh, on a grill. Uh-huh. What he does is he lets the old son bake these things <laughs> yeah. uh, right on the sidewalk. People are getting sick. So people are getting very sick. Yeah. So I'm there to distract people from the impending uh, stomach virus that they get from eating falafels right off the sidewalk. Yeah. So I'll be there for uh, two days. Those are 24-hour shows. Um, and I'll be uh, warming up the crowd while those falafels are warming up your stomach. Yeah. Dude, also, we got to listen to this person's fucking album. Okay. It's so bad. Did you hear it? <laughs> no. Um, you know, 